Hello everybody and welcome back I to the library of ruin <clears throat> Alrighty, so I made a couple page changes The first of which and second of which are on yes odds floor So Yes odd is now using an Amoa's book um as you can see little bit of a weird build but it works out we have a guaranteed light and draw because we're always going to have puppet strings a 50 50 on both the draw and restore light we're singleton so multi slash is just going to be very very good curtain call because it's a relatively strong page the wing voracious for knowledge obviously restores two light and draws two pages Draw three with Will of the Prescript, Class of, Clash of Blades, because we're going to be drawing a lot. Fervent Emotions, because we're hoping to get to the late game. And Divinatory Impact, I had to think of how to pronounce that one. So you might be saying, uh, Shadow, you're going to have no freaking light for this at all. Well, that's where you're wrong, dear viewer of mine. Eugene is going to restore two light upon using a page whose original cost is four or higher we're going to get an extra speed die since we only start with one dice so it helps us later twin hauler because you can never go wrong with a bit of sustain and high level acrobatics overall it is you know it's a little bit of a weird one and then we also have an amoa if the original page cost total during the scene is six or more we restore an additional two light so let's say in a turn we use divinatory impact and multi slash that counts as six and because this is four or above we're restoring two light from this one then we're restoring two light from multi slash and finally we're restoring two light from enamoa we just got six light for free while also using a five cost page and a one cost page alternatively um we could go for something like fervent emo mm, fervent emotions and the wing voracious for knowledge that would total seven so we would only spend one light give or take and then of course we could go for like curtain call will of the prescript even though we do miss out on a little bit of light it's so much draw that the next scene we're gonna be able to make it up and then we have two free cards just in case we're ever that low on light and multi slash is just the nice glue for that little bit of additional sustain in case something goes wrong and now Ingvar finally has a proper Eugen build so we are using a animation rework mod that also gives us some really powerful versions of some cards one of which is Eugene. so as you can see very simple build multi slash of course it's one it's just so good in its effect tail whisk because you can never go wrong with a bit of light shockwave you know same deal as multi slash steel knuckles because it has a counter die it deals good blunt and it draws us a page will of the city just for even more draw even more light will of the prescript for even more draw so as you can see light not a problem we have four cards that are restoring light very powerful now here's where it gets interesting the moment between life and death on clash win destroy all of the opponent's die if the natural roll is max and is four or higher add 45 power we then have wind of the leaves because it just kind of works with what we got and fervent emotion for the late game now we are using do du duet's page emotion amplification module and overclock you can never go wrong with an extra plus two to both offensive and defensive and health holler just to restore a little bit of health now eye of death is a little different all dice gain plus one power boost the minimum roll value of all dice on every fourth page used by plus four that means if we use haha funny 
roll for, you know, kaboom, on the fourth page, it is almost guaranteed to gain the 45 power. So, obviously, Ingvar has a little bit of lore with Eugen, so I thought this was only fitting to give him the amplified Eugen page. Overbreathing. Restore two light upon using a card who's four or higher. That's why we have four pages that are a four cost. Now, we do have 75% less HP when we start the battle. That's kind of why I have Health Hauler, um, because it is a little bit of sustain, not as much as I'd like, but, you know... It does kind of add up. And overall, that's the only two changes on this floor. And then, the only other thing that I believe that we've changed, Yukari now has Carry On The Arbiter's page. Three Fairy, three Chain, two Blade, and one Lock. We're also using Blood Fiendish, because it helps us restore health. Empowered first shot when playing a ranged combat page. It's first defensive die gains plus one power. That's going to help us do our combo because everything we do is ranged. And Mind Hauler to restore a bit of stagger to go with the health regen. Not to mention we still have Marcos Jr. who's going to be restoring a ton of health. So having that tiny bit of stagger... Um, Recovery is going to be quite nice. Not to mention, Blood Fiendish is also going to be giving us uh, health back. And then we have Graceful Blood Fiend and Blood Red Knight, since we are constantly going to be restoring HP. It's also going to make um, the cost reduction a little bit easier, because it has a 5% chance to boost our damage by plus 2. And as long as we've done 8 or more damage, we get the cost reduction. Hmm. Ha! Angela, looks like I won. Huh? I'm in the wrong floor. What in the... Hey, Gabura, did you see Angela pass through here? Gabura? The Black Claw. 300 health, 200 stagger resistance. We're going to use Netzack for this one. The Former Claw. Gain a nullifier charge at the start of the act. Restore one additional light each scene. Recover 5 HP at the start of each scene. Orlando. Unique Ego becomes accessible. Cannot use Floor Ego. And Black Silence. Draw two pages at the start of every act. All dice on the third combat page gain plus two power. Very cool. So I actually played these out of order. Um, I played part two before part one, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You won't be able to tell in the recording. It'll be totally fine, even though I sound a little confused at the start of part two, which is after this, but that's fine. It's okay. Renga motion, degraded trail. Old boys, de degraded... Okay, I always call this expiration. It's ex -ter Extirpation. Extirpation. Yes. Degraded Serum K. Ulterior Logic. Durandal Crystal Arterium Motion. And Wheels Industry. We're gonna bring Netzek. It'll probably be fine. I want an excuse to use Argalia's page because I was told the combo, not that I remember, and I want to make it work. A surprise mock battle? Well, it's not like I have anything better to do. How did I end up doing things like this? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ulterior logic! Um. Canine's growl. Unlock. Then. Old boy's motion. Oh. Pow! Cablamo! And then. Let's have some fun! Now. Oh, memory? 8 to 16? <laughs> I'm gonna go for memory. Uh, bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. He has 6. That's a difference of 1. Uh, therefore, uh, speed. If speed is equal to vibration, no, that won't work. Uh, 
Oh man, I, I totally forgot what the combo I was said, what the combo given to me was. Uh, is it a max? Yes. So stacked up to seven. Um. Okay. Let's do this. That'll activate resonance. That'll give us some strength. And then, uh, reduce target's vibration towards five. Okay. And then we reduce it by one, which puts it back to six. Five. Okay. We put it to five. Then go for donkey and go for multi slash. Should be good. Aha! Ka pow! Kablamo! Hey, what's up? Worth it. Allegro. Well, that's fine. We still get the buff anyway. Let's have some fun. Okay, it's at five. Feel some staggered. Okay, so it should make it easier. Our tempo, tempo level one, start a scene, all allies deal damage. The tempo is broken after four incorrect conducts okay so if this page activates resonance if this page activated resonance all yes okay now resonance just to double check if this character speed and the targets vibration is one or less uh, da -da. okay yes so it's one or less uh, it is Okay, this gives so let's go if this is equal. Yes, okay equal and then Oh crap was it adagio or presto first? Uh, I don't remember Okay, it th this should be fine. This should be fine. I, th I think we're good. I think we're good um Okay Let's remind let's remind you the wing voracious for knowledge. Uh Serum K. What if we just go Idol's Love? Should be fine. And then we don't have light for anything else. Uh draw two pages. You know what? Let's uh double Actually extravaganza against that. Ah, double draw. And then, which one do we not have? We... A lot of them. Okay, let's go... Donkey, because it's the only one we got. And unlock two. That should be good. Okay. A grim reminder. Oh, okay. Wheels hurts. Adagio, the resonant scythe. The wind voracious for knowledge. The bray of the donkey. Unlock. We're almost there. Laughing powder. Okay. Now. Let's see. He's at five. So. Uh. Yes. Vivis. And then... Larga. Right? I don't think I messed that up. Maybe I did. I'm suddenly feeling like I did. But it might be okay. Let's go... We could go Grand Applause. I'm actually going to go Guest Cameo. Into Book of Light. Then ah, oh, we pulled ulterior unit. I I wanted to pull it with veiling after images. Dang. Okay, that's fine. Um, clash that, and then multi slash. Then, rooster's crow. Chorus. That should be relatively good. Sorry, I'm sniffling so much. I think allergies. I don't know though. Okay, veiling after images. Yeah, shockwave. The Roostas Crow. 
Maruto. The chorus. <laughs> Vivis. Multi slash. Largo. Yes. Jeez, we almost killed him. Uh, thorns. Right here. I think we can actually. Let's see. Uh, did we screw up? Temple level three. Oh, <laughs> wow, we're actually doing it. Um, we could probably finish it with Pessimisto, though. Although, oh my God, right? We we are managing to make freaking Argalia work. Although it's taken a lot of effort to really pull it off. Um, all allies. Extravaganza. Uh. Yes, this should be fine. You win. I think I had enough for today. <laughs> ah, yes. But he's back. He's not done yet. Let's see. Can use range combat pages. Former claw. Diluted K. No holding back. Add new combat page to deck. Throw out, blah, draw three more pages each scene. The Black Silence. Okay. I don't see anything new, but we'll probably see it once we get in. Um, guys? Guess I'm going all out. That's fine. What are you going to do? Kill us? I didn't think so. I'm actually going to go for opening ceremony. Uh, I think it'll be a pretty good opener. Then we are going to go for... Ooh, yeah. K9 and Donkey. Although that's uh, not amazing. Oh, wait a minute. Let's... Uh, da -da 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 uh, okay. Resonant Scythe. And then... Allegro. And then we use Largo to lower it. Yeah, yeah. Pal Kablamo. Um, Will of the Prescript. Okay, then we're going to go Wish Dream K9. Okay, this should be good. Mm. Big dodges. Okay, a lot of stagger. Good dodge into the draw. That's fine. Resonant Sight. Okay, Allegro working out for us. Canine Growl. <laughs> we actually land it. Largo to lower it back down. Donkey Spray. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, that was a sudden music change. Uh, let's go for Shockwave. That should basically work out for us. Then we are going to go for the Crow of the Rooster, which I don't actually think is going to work. Then we're going to go for Unlock and Multi Slash. Get ourselves stacked up. Ulterior Unit! And then Multi Slash. Here we go! Ulterior Unit! Improvised Song. I'm actually surprised that worked out as well as it did. Rooster's Crow, not working out quite the same. Shockwave, double dodge. You'll love to see it. Uh-oh. Ow! <laughs> Ow, that freaking hurt. Do this, multi-slash. Largo. Allegro. Multi slash one more time, recover as many resources as we can, go for an unlock shockwave! Rank of motion. That protection. Woo! Um, each time. Da, 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 da. You know what? Flower petals, net sack. And then we could go pleasure. Why not? Should work out for us. Okay, recovers a decent amount of health, but it's nothing that we can't deal with. Does he have a mass attack going? No, he's just attacking, like, all of us. Alright, here we go. 
the climax! 39! Why didn't it work? It didn't do any damage. Okay, fair enough. The rooster's crow, the donkey's bray. A soul. The weak voracious for knowledge, failing after images. <laughs> we are now unlocked. Vivis. Can I growl? Multi slash. It looks like your time is almost up. The chorus. And now, for the grand finale. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Pessimisto. Ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I messed up. So, Tempo Largo. So, we're supposed to use Largo, right? I think. I don't know exactly how it works, man. I gotta be honest. It's, uh... It's a, it's a little bit confusing to me, but, you know... We're slowly figuring it out. I was told the combo. Unfortunately, me, big dum-dum, and I don't seem to have remembered. So, let's finish him off. Presto! Oh, I don't think we actually killed. No, but we got close. Oh boy, he's gonna make us regret missing that one. Here we go. Ow. Love. Improvise song. Wish dream. Ah. Oh, the counter die. OP. Yeah, I knew we weren't going to win this one. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Wait, am I in the wrong library? Surrender. You guys are more persistent than normal. What the are you? Uh oh. Roland, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Then why is there another you standing over there? I don't know. I was following you the whole day. Wait. Ah, shh. Roland. What are you doing in someone else's library? It was an accident. I, I don't know how I ended up here. How did you accidentally cross dimensions? You better clean this mess up. Hey, the teleport race was your right. I apologize for all the trouble he caused. I'll deal with him myself. Good riddance. I have enough trouble dealing with one, Roland. What the heck did I just witness? Your guess is as good as mine. Where did that witty mouth of yours go? All that planning, all of those insults, and this is all you got! Answer me! What a one-sided battle. At least I will have a graceful end, unlike a certain rage-filled beast. And I can die happy knowing... Argalia! She would be glad to be free from that abomination. You implanted it. Is hard. Is this floor secure? <laughs> ah, no, no. I haven't done hard in a while. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Roland. But all of the doors are still sealed, so I don't know if the other floors made it through. I see. Uh, you should start cleaning up. I'll see if I can reach Angela. 
be here if you need anything. Uh, I guess it's time. Anchor set synchronization level to max. Begin synchronization. see the end of your journey. Actually, I guess I have my mask on, huh? But the things we've done, and the sins we made, it's become too much for me to bear. I can no longer follow you down this path. Please forgive me, my friend. I will bury us both in this blackened hell. Come on. Hurry up so we can get that door open. <laughs> Why does she have long hair? I don't have that mod. Do I? I don't think I do. Gabura, watch out. What? Huh. No, 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 no. He bypassed us. I have to... Angel, what is going on? It's Roland. He... Hi! It's good to see you again, old friend. Enjoying your new claw, Arbiter? Hmm, regret saving him now. I simply acknowledge all events as valid. Shut it, Bina. Angela, disable his claw arm. Oh, you know what? We're gonna consider this a different... Okay, hang on. This is a totally different universe. I'm changing my Angela voice. Here we go, kind of. Uh, I can't anymore. Wh what? What happened? I can't contact the other floors. Only a few seconds have passed, and... You became human, Angela. You gained all of its benefits. And all its weaknesses. Ah! Angela, take Bina. I'll slow him down. No worry, dear. I can still. No, you can't. I should have realized sooner who you really are. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'll have a long talk with Angela when I rid myself of these nuisances. It took me way too long to realize that it's like a <laughs> different world. Okay. Executioner Roland. Shimmering, of course. Oh, ineffective to Pierce. Okay. Speed 3. Yep. Orlando. Has unique combat pages that cannot be replaced or swapped. Unique ego becomes accessible. Cannot use Floor Ego. All dice on the page selected in the third speed dice slot gain plus two power. Gain a nullifier charge at the start of the act. Restore one additional light each scene. At the start of the scene, mark the enemy with the lowest health. Uh, Serum W Mastery. Choose a speed dice with the highest value. The speed values of the dice change to the maximum possible value. When using a combat page, all dice on the page gain minimum roll value against targets with slower speed. Huh. Up to plus three minimum roll value. At the start of the act, replaces diluted serum K. Recover eight HP at the start of each scene. Gain a counter die block four to eight. On clash lose, recover five HP. At the start of the scene, if there are no targetable enemies, purge untargetable effects from all enemies and mark them. A speed die with the lowest speed becomes untargetable. Recover 5 stagger resist on a successful attack, recover 3 HP upon winning a clash. If this character becomes staggered, spend 20 unstable charge to recover from stagger and fully recover stagger resist at the start of the next scene. 
Ranga Motion. Degraded Trail. Cost of this page cannot be changed. Draw one page. Old Boy's Motion. Degraded Ex... Extirpation. Uh, unused, draw one page. If singleton, restore two light as well. On hit, inflict three bleed, one fragile. Degraded Serum K. Oh, but this gets replaced, right? Let's see, where... Where did it say that? Uh, da, da, da. Ah, replaces... Oh, diluted. Well, this is... We're just gonna assume that's what it means. Uh, recover 25 HP at the start of the next scene. Uh, okay. Ulterior logic. Target's current die cannot be recycled. Durandal! Gain two strength. Crystal ulterior motion. And wheels industry. However, start of clash, take 10 damage. Boost the minimum value of all dice on this page by plus three. On clash win, destroy the opponent's next die. I mean, we should probably take a burrow, right? Right. All right. Well. So, Mark. Oh, he gets the good Mark. Okay. Good to know. Well, buddy. You just picked the wrong fight. Gabura's only on one health because she got a little bit beat up. But, that's okay. Durandal! We can counter that with Upstanding Slash, no problem. Um, focus Spirit right here. And then Spear right here. Next, Roberto, who's only semi-waifu because I'm still... Actually, you know what? We should have given him really long hair. I know how to make him a waifu. We're gonna give, we're gonna give Roberto super long hair. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. All right, uh, da, 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 da. let's go for Mook. Actually, mm. uh, let's just try to apply some debuffs. Actually, uh, da, 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 da. deal some extra damage. Okay. Target's current die cannot be recycled. Mm. This is on hit, so that won't land. Could go for eliminate. I'm actually, eh, I'm just gonna go for Will of the City. Just tank it. Okay. Next, let's just go for Augury Kick, and then we'll be able to recover our light. Next scene. Uh, degraded Serum R. Take ten damage. Reduce cost of all pages by one for next scene. On Clash Wind, destroy targets. Next die and inflict five bleed to self. I don't know if we can win that. 7 to 11. We will try. Oh, wow. We actually won that first one. Retribution. The spear. Ah. Up. Standing slash. Focus spirit. Gibera mm. is still only on one health. Ah. Okay, we got one of them. Ah! He's so fast! By the way, I don't know if I ever mentioned it in the base series, but, um, I actually... <laughs> when when he goes to talk to Bina for the first time, I actually thought the game was going to reveal that Roland was the Claw. For the longest time, I thought Roland was the Claw, and I was so convinced that he was going to be the Claw. It never happened, obviously, but I was so freaking convinced. So this basically goes with what I originally thought was going to be the case, so that's fun. He's going for something nasty. Oh god, Triceum Cocktail already. Okay, um, let's see. Upstanding Slash should be able to take care of that, no problem. Uh, let's go for the lower cost Upstanding Slashes. Then let's go for a Spear. That should reduce our costs enough. Um, I'm going to go for Opening Ceremony. And that's all we can really do. 
Okay, go for Shockwave. That should help us out quite a bit. Okay. Um, let's try and gain some strength, although I'm not feeling amazing about our chances. Let's see. Uh, which ones have we not used? I think it tells us, so let's go Old Boys and Ulterior Logic. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, didn't quite win. Yeah, Multi Slash was never going to win, unfortunately. That teleporting around is so cool. Ah! Opening ceremony! You cannot pierce my arm. Uh. Up! Standing! Slash! Spear! <laughs> Ulterior logic! But he's not done yet. Oh my god. Nullifier. Can block an attack whose dice value is 30 or greater. Manifest Ego. Gain new Ego passive. Gain one maximum roll value for every two status effects on the target with a maximum of two. Uh, still has Orlando, the Black Silence, former Executioner, Serum W Mastery, Serum K, Executioner Mask, no targetable, Wrath and Sorrow. Upon winning a clash with offensive die, gain one unstable charge. Upon winning a clash with defensive dice, inflict one Sorrowful Haze, once per target per scene. Upon using Feroz Furoso, add Curtain Call to hand. Wielder of Sorrowful Haze. On a successful attack, if the target has 10 or more Sorrowful Haze, inflict a random status ailment at a 20% chance. Take 40% less damage from status ailments. While HP is 50% or less, take 60% less damage from status ailments instead. And then essentially gain upgraded Nuovo Fabric against enemies with Sorrowful Haze. Wielder of Wrathful Thunder can hold up to 100 unstable charge. While this character has 20 plus unstable charge, if speed is 4 or higher, deal 8 bonus damage at a 10% chance on a successful hit. While this character has 30 plus offensive dice on the first combat page the character uses each scene, gain an additional effect on hit, deal bonus damage equal to target's protection. 50, per, 50 plus character becomes super heated. 90 plus gain meltdown status. If this character is staggered, take 50 damage and lose 50 unstable charge. Good lord. Well then, let us see what can be done here. Degraded Trail, inflict unstable charge, fixed cost, draw one, gain three, draw one additional page. Okay, well, if we just go for a immediate alias workshop, and then I'm also going to go for old boys, get ourselves stacking up and going. We can go for opening ceremony, though I don't think it's going to work. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll work out for us. Maybe it won't. I'm... Oh. Durandal. If the character has 20 plus, 25 plus unstable charge, gain one endurance next scene. On hit, inflict one haze, gain one strength. All right, I think we can get through that one relatively easily. I don't see it being too big of a problem. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend six to roll this twice, inflict one haze. Current die cannot be recycled. Let's go for slay, even though I don't think it's going to work, and then we'll go for an unlock. And then... I'm gonna go for Focus Spirit right here, and then we can go for Upstanding Slash and Spear, and that should work out just fine for us. I think, I hope. Okay, so I did a, uh, so, <laughs> I've been doing like itty bitty test uploads where uh, I basically will just sit here for like 
three to five minutes uh, just letting the music play and then I'll do an upload uh, and I'll basically just see what the copyright says yeah this isn't one that um, blocks it from being seen but it is still a copyright and I would just prefer my channel not get in trouble so yeah you know so it is okay to post um, but it does get a copyright claim um, and while I think it's fine to have copyright claims I don't think I, I feel like if you have too many it might get a little troublesome I don't know obviously I'm not a <laughs> I might be a youtuber but I'm not an expert so we're just gonna play it safe and here we go okay restore a little light Opening ceremony does not work out for us, that's fine. Alias Workshop, on the other hand, does. Okay, gain a bit of strength. Oh, get a nice dodge. He ends up blocking us, that's okay. Our counter dice doesn't quite work out. We are going to go for a big attack. Upstanding slash. Good. Book Spirit. Furious battle cry. Get ourselves unlocking. And here we go. Uh, could do roll of the wolf. Do we actually have... Yeah, we do have counter die. I don't know if we have two counter die or one, but I'm actually going to go roll of the wolf on Gabura. Uh, since she is just hanging out at one health. Then I'm going to go... Claws of Savagery, you know what, why not? And we will do that on Roberto. Should be relatively good. All right, let's see what he's doing. Can't attack that, so this is where the counter die are gonna come in. So I think we only have one, right? So we have Retaliate, four to eight. Uh, da, 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 da. Burst Prowess. Slash die at the end of melee. Okay. Now, I also don't think we can use... Whoa. What in the world? Angela Marked Bind. Single use. Exhaust on use and returns to hand after three scenes. At the start of the next scene, reduce all speed values by two and disable Serum W Mastery Passive. Whoa. Gain strength. Yeah. Gain strength equal to the target strength and purge all of the target strength. Whoa, so if he strength strength stacks, we can actually just get rid of it. Uh take 40% less damage and stagger damage this turn. On clash wind, destroy all the opponents, die, purge all strength from the opponent. Whoa. Okay. That's uh that's pretty big. Okay, I want to clash that. We have 12 strength, to it, so it should be fine. Uh, clash. Actually, we can't clash with that, so instead, I'm just going to go for some spears and another upstanding slash. That should work out just fine. I'm going to go for Jeremiah. I think that should work. Then... Mm, Wheels Industry is a little bit too expensive. Let's go for Crystal Interior. Uh, our chance to win this one is pretty low, but we may as well still try regardless. I'm going to go for Swarch Shield. That is going to spend all of our light. Uh, reversed Attack. Yeah, you know what? Reversed Attack should work out in our favor, and then we'll also go for a Multi Slash. Then I'm going to go for another Multi Slash and unlock two get us closer to that blade unlock state ah, 14 damage okay retribution doesn't quite work out for us crystal arterior very good focus spirit jeremiah Whew, this is a ridiculous floor the amount of uh, power scaling on this floor is just absolutely insane even though Gabura only has one health 
She is just so freaking ridiculous. It is insane. Let's go ahead and get ourselves going, recover as many stats as we can, get that blade unlocked rolling. <laughs> Roland. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, it's time for Gabura's special page. Rampage. Activates when Ego is manifested. All dice gain plus four power. If the character fails to deal 40 plus damage with attacks within a, within a scene, die. The Courage to Protect. Activates when Ego is manifested. All dice gain minus four power, but removes the damage restricted of manifested Ego. Indignation. Activates when Ego is manifested. Reduce the cost of Ego pages by one. Any enemy... Gabura targets will be forced to target her back regardless of speed. If target's HP is 25% or lower, destroy all their dice upon winning a clash. The amount of damage dealt is W, is doubled. I'm gonna go for Rampage. I'm not Carmen. Uh-oh. That's a serum. Overcharge serum W. Take 15 damage. Power affects all dice on this page time too. Destroy all the opponent's die in a clash win. So, 12 to 12. Flashing dual blades. Okay. Uh, unstable charge. Haze. Degraded. Durandal. Ulterior logic. Okay. I think we got this. I am going to manifest my ego. Should be able to win that. And then, I think we're just going to hold off until next turn. As for this, I'm going to go for wheels. And then, ulterior logic. And Ranga workshop should be relatively good for us. Let's go for the final unlock. Death approaching is not quite ready, but it almost is. Um, Let's try and retribution that. And then we will just go for another opening ceremony. Uh, opening ceremony again, and, oh, right, we also have, or no, e even though Ego's manifested on, um, Kingsley, we do not have the means to go ham just yet. We do manage to stop the overcharge W. Wheels industry! Ow! Counter die doesn't quite work out for us. Manifest Ego! Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah? You think you're a wise guy, huh? Well, just for that. Renga. Workshop. Agri kick and blade is now unlocked. I'm uh the, 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 the instincts on Kingsley. Cobalt Scar, why not? Ego! Now then, let's have ourselves a real fight. I'm gonna go for Great Split Vertical, since we have to do a ton of damage. And then... Let's go for a Focus. Let's go for Upstanding Slash, because it's gonna be free. Another Upstanding. And then, we're gonna go for a Spear. This should be so much damage that Roland stands no chance. It doesn't matter if you have the power of a claw and the power of the Black Silence. You will be destroyed. And I will show you. All right. Bit of a simple turn, but here we go. Ah, uh, that didn't quite work out in favor. Ah! Block! 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 Ah! Ah! You're so fast, but death approaches. Focus Spirit! The Mook Workshop. Up! Standing! Slash! Goodbye. Oh, we can't die this turn. Interesting. All right. Thruff.
He still lives. Cascada Luminosa. Mass individual. Bury the light. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Gabura's dead. Ah, uh, yeah. Gabura's, uh. She's dead to that one. In fact, we might have a lot of people who are dead. Um. Well, we'll try. Uh, eliminate. Ooh. Ooh. Nasty. Alright. Cascade Illuminous. I love super flashy moves like that. Oh my god, there was no world we survived that. <sighs> Just a little bit more. I'm almost there. Just last a little bit longer. I finally found you. Roland, please. What's this now? You're acting weak all of a sudden? Your body won't last long at this rate. You let countless die just to reach your freedom. And you're hesitating now? I don't buy it. I only want to be compensated for my suffering. I didn't want it to end this way. It doesn't matter what you want now. It's too late to turn back. Only one of us will walk out of this alive. Me with my revenge, or you with your freedom. I don't want to fight you, Roland. Then you'll die! Looks like I've reached my limit. System overload. Desynchronization. I was a fool to the very end. Never realized what I had until it was too late. Chasing a ghost of the past. If we'd cared for ourselves, we might have found a different path. But it's long past that. Looks like you've won, Angela. This... must be another sorrow I must overcome. We all gotta carry our own agonies, and no other. It's how this world works. Congrats, Angela. Seeing you cry is a rare sight. You shouldn't hesitate at the end like that. It'll get you killed out there. System reset complete. Administering first aid. You're running out of time, Angela. You should... No. I'm not going to let go. One of us has to stop this madness. What? After everything that happened? Were you struck with some huge revelation or something? What about all the people who lost their lives here? Is their death meaningless now? I really thought that if I closed my eyes and hardened my heart, I could finally be free from this place and live the life I wanted. But I realize now that the only thing that awaits me out there would be more of this. If I have to keep spilling blood so... I could continue living, then I'd rather let it go. You can't undo what you've done. If I let it all go, at least those who died can...
be brought back. Is that really the answer you choose? When you can walk out of here and be free? To finally be able to exact your revenge? How can you make a choice like this so easily? What's the point of seeing the world when there is no one else to stand by my side? What makes you think I won't rip you apart when you let your guard down? Because I trust you. Like I always have. It won't be an easy feat, but I'm going to expel everything from the library. Can you wait for me? Thank you, my friend. Woo! Man, that was intense. Indeed. I'm curious on how the same person can have such a drastically different reaction. Yeah, she was almost ugly crying by the end. <laughs> Glad nothing too bad happened. Unlike our head librarian here, barely any, blah, barely any reaction at all. Uh, that was just a joke. <laughs> Don't kill me. I guess you emote a lot, too. Just most of them being anger. Uh, I think we should wrap it up for today. What? Come on, I want to see what happens next. I'm curious as well, but we have work to do. It all It's also almost dinner time. And it's your turn to cook. Yeah, I know. To be continued in part three. Thank you for playing. A non-restricted version is now available for two Impuritas books. And thus completes the tale of the Black Claw Roland. Silence. The Black Silence Claw Roland. Okay, so I'm experimenting with glasses. I'm also experimenting with hair. Uh, I'm kind of thinking of what hair looks good. I don't like... Okay, obviously, it's not what I like. Um, but I'm sort of... I'm looking through the hairs, and I'm like... Ah, well... Okay, this one looks fine. This one... Well, this is Malka's <laughs> back hair, so... Um, but honestly, I was thinking like a ponytail. Obviously, it's not up to me. But, um, maybe some buns, maybe... I thought this one looked really good, personally. I thought this one probably looks the best. As for glasses, um, there is the stagger resist ones. Could go for, like, some nerdy ones. We could go for some cool sunglasses, which does look pretty cool. Um, there's these ones, which are, like, librarian glasses. These are Philips, uh, but they're more box-like. And then, I think that's it. There's the monocle. And, yeah, that's pretty much... Oh, wait. Aha! This, I think this is the last one. Um, yeah. I don't think there's any more glasses. Actually, Hannah Association Director. Hmm? One of these are bound to work. <laughs> um, but I'm personally thinking... I was actually thinking maybe the big round ones or the imperfect ego ones. The sunglasses one also looks pretty cool though. For the moment, I'll just do this. Um, obviously, I'm gonna need Roberto's opinion. Um, but I was kind of thinking like long hair, maybe glasses, maybe like the box glasses. I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. But uh, that's just kind of what I was thinking. Speaking of black, black Roland Claw, silence, darkness of death. Oh my God! How did Zena talk? Ah, <laughs> oh, I only did her voice like once. Oh wait, no, I I remember, I remember. At last, the deed is done. For the tremendous no. For the tremendous effort, the exercise breaking in, certainly, everything came to naught. A crude end to the life of a once exalted blue reverberation. It doesn't matter now. The light is here. All of it. Our time. And 
my time. The purpose of this place is here. Everyone has a plan. You have a plan. But there is yet one more obstacle you will face before it comes to fruition. Me. You. The time has come to put an end to this charade. For so long I waited. Waited for the moment. For the time. For so long I held my tongue. <laughs> you. This place. The light. You thought you could simply... Mm, get away with it. That you could have all your wishes. <laughs> your malignant dreams come true. That you could trample the lives of others to obtain yours. Because you were wronged, so everyone else must suffer. Isn't that just how it works in this city you hate so much, while never having seen it? This society that you've been eternally excluded from, these baseless assumptions you make from the actions of people that you have specially selected, <laughs> already driven to the brink from your actions. And now you get to become human, to reach your goal over the dead bodies of thousands, hundreds of thousands. Angelica? What is the meaning of this? Zena, are you... I thought... You thought a lot of things. Foolish things. <laughs> like that you could get away with this. That you were beyond reproach. That your suffering made valid. Made the pain valid. I don't know exactly how to say this one. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. That your suffering made valid the pain you put on others. You thought. You thought not at all about the consequences. For in the end, the truest example of the city's uncaring nature is present now, dwelling in your breast. And now, you will see that not everyone is so willing to lay down and die by your hand. Garyon, my old friend Oliver, both entombed within this place, will be your eternal company. This shall be Angelica's final memoir. Come, shall you? <clears throat> Let us at last engage and dance the final fatal dance that is the consequences of your foolish, foolish actions. I see that I have been mistaken about many things. The time for talking is past. Now is the time for the shedding of blood. Reception of the Black Silence. <laughs> shimmering. At the start of each scene, exhaust. Eh, we know what shimmering does. Black Silence. All dice on the page selected. In the fourth speed slot, lose four power. Dice clashing against them, roll zero. Repressed Singularity. Untransferable. Fairy deals no damage and does not decay on this character. Preparedness. Gain two counter dice, slash four to eight, at combat start. Malevolent Resent. Recover five stagger resist on hit, lose five stagger resist on clash lose. Perception Blocking Mask. A speed dice with the lowest speed becomes untargetable. When HP drops to 50%, recover all stag resistant change stances. 
Health cannot drop below 50% before this happens. Uh, whenever the emotion level rises, gain one strength and endurance and slash mastery. Zokova Workshop. Draw one page, spend two fairy to draw another, up to two times. Rango Workshop. On use, restore two light. On clash, lose, inflict two fairy to self twice. On hit, inflict one fairy. Old Boys Workshop. Restore three light, draw one page, inflict three fairy to self. Alias Workshop. All dice on the opponent's page lose five maximum value. Mook Workshop. Restore three light, draw one page, inflict three fairy to self. On hit, inflict three fairy to self. Ulterior Logic. Opponent's die cannot be recycled. If its max value is less than 1.5 times, this die's max value. On Clash, inflict four fairy to self. Durandal. Inflict 5 Fairy to Self. Dice on this page deal increased damage equal to half the amount of Fairy on Self, up to 50. On hit, gain 2 Strength. On hit, gain 1 Strength. Crystal Alteria! On use, if user has 11 or more Fairy, all offensive dice on this page gain plus 3 power. Uh, on Clash Win, inflict 2 Fairy to Self. And Counter Die, on Clash Win, inflict 2 Fairy to Self. Wheels Industry. Uh, 4 to 8 block. On Clash Lose, inflict 2 Fairy to Self. 12 to 20, On Clash Win. Destroy the first die of the next page the opponent plays, even across scenes. 4 to 8, On Clash Win, inflict 2 Fairy to Self. Alias Workshop. Okay, fair enough. Heated Weapon. And... Prosegamuni. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Let's see. Durandal! Uh, clench heart? Yeah, that should be fine. Then go for multi slash. Let's see. Glaciating shower against the second Durandal. And then we go for shockwave. Let's see. Uh, that's gonna hit us no matter what we do. I'm gonna go for waned evertide. And. Shockwave. Then, assign captain. I want the captain. Let's see, who's going to benefit the most off of haste? Ah, uh, Gregory Adalis. I think you will benefit the most. Uh, scorching Light, after everyone's said and done. And Prickly Thorn. Here we go. Ow! Okay. Ow! Okay, Glaciating Shower does not quite work for us. Ooh, we got our damage proc, even if we rolled zero because we went for the fourth uh, dice. Clench Heart. Take heart. The Earth Mother is upon us. What's nice is we still applied the burn as well. Ooh, Gregory Dallas applying the RNG effects. Shockwave. Scene two. Burn. Oh. Okay, well, the music changed, but. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a little awkward. That's a little bit of a scene killer right there. <laughs> that's fine, though. That's fine. It, it, it's bound to happen sometimes. Um, Adorable Claws, we might win. You never know. And then I'm going to go for Scorching Light. Adorable Claws one more time. Let's see, uh, da, 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 da. on Clash Lose, you know what, that's a fourth die, so we're going to go for that, then we're going to go for, uh, does not lose bind, you know what, I actually want to do that, uh, then let's go for a shock wave and flash freezing, okay, now, mm, flames of despair. And then, she win. Okay, and then, clash with that. Here we go. Adorable claws, ow. We were bound to lose it at some point. Ow. Ooh, shockwave ends up hurting. She win. Oh my god. Okay, she keeps her bind. 
flames of despair. Everything rolls zero, including this. Lightning! It's such a cool looking move. There are so many cool looking moves through mods and base game. It's insane. Okay, Ranga Workshop, we take a bit of damage. That is fine. Display of affection. Um, yes on Gregory Dallas. Okay, that also gives Malkith the buff. Patron Librarian of History, Happy Teddy Bear. All dice gain 1 to 2 power in a clash. All dice lose 1 to 2 power in a one-sided attack. Now then, let us see what can be done. Uh, also, hang on. I'm going to put the music back to what it should be. Go. Inconsolable grief. Okay, it doesn't work for us because it's uh, not the best card in the world. I think the best part about it is that it can hit everybody at once. Okay, we do have a stagger. That's fine. Big block. Okay, roll for zero. We already knew that was coming. Blade unlocked. The frozen trace. Luminescence of a wimp. Ouch! Oh my god, Malkin. Okay. Malkith is, uh, not looking good. Uh, da 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 Map slide. On, Mal on uh, Kilana. That should... No, she's not at emotion level 3 yet. But she is going to be soon. I'm... Oh, right, we can't go for that. Uh, I'll sync it up a different thing. Uh, this is page 4, so we'll just go for Tail Whisk. And then we might be able to counter that. Let's go Frostfire because we're getting a lot of haste. That will definitely work in our favor. I don't see that going wrong even in the slightest. All right, here we go. Oh, that almost worked out for us. Combusting Courage. Helios. Okay. Sordino. Big damage. Oh my god, that extra damage. Also, I want to see what this does. Helios reduces damage received from burn. Right, okay. Yeah, I had a feeling. Huh, well, Kelana just got absolutely one shot. Um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Uh, wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's real awkward. <laughs> and now we have Wing Bee. Oof. That was, uh, that was pretty poor timing. Ignited Spear. Um, Queen Bee. Okay, so we have two buffs. Yikes. Ooh, Mass Attack. Shockwave. This page costs 10 fairy. On play. Wait, oh no. On use, at emotion level 3 or higher, add a copy of Aftershock to hand. Okay. Let's boost offense. Oh. Uh, da, da, da. All other allies, yes. Boom. Okay. Now, let's go for Acceleration Protocol. And that should honestly work out in our favor. And then we'll go for Double Scorching Light. After all, she does have 54 burn. Uh, we're not going to be able to win this, so... Uh, Shockwave should be good. Let's go for a Fiery Vault, although we're going to take some damage. Thin Line. The page... This page costs five Fairy to play. Okay, fair enough. Oh, and we did just lose someone, so we can go for Narrow Line. Uh... Do we have enough for... Ooh, we do have enough for Strip Off the Smile. Ooh. Alternatively, we could go for Frigid Vessels. Let's see, Semination. I'm actually, I'm going to do it. You know what? We're just going to go for it. So Dave is going to take a lot of damage. But I think it works out in our favor. Is this the fourth? No, it is not. So let's do this. 
uh, despairingly stigmatize, and then I want to get a heal off. So here we go. Let's hope it works out. If you may, beauty. Okay, we miss. We miss again. We hit the third. Frigid vessels. Okay, there's her shockwave. Ooh, we lost Malkith. And we almost lost Kyle, not quite. Ah! Ow! Oh my god! Oh, pain! Wow, it hurts! Ow! Um, bad news. I think we did. I think we gonna die. Oh, yikes. Um, yeah, I think we're dead. Ow, forgotten didn't work out for us. Ow. Oh, we got close. All you see is darkness. Then allow me to show you the light. By facing yourself, you will see the inner light. Ah! Oh, well, that didn't really work out for us. Okay, we're almost courageous. Vertical slash. Slash of Blades. Eh, it worked out better than I thought it was going to, honestly. Zilkova does not work out because we did hyper buff ourselves to take no damage. The road to happiness. We are at max shimmer. All of our magical girls are almost. I do kind of want to stack up Disappointment itself. Unfortunately, we are definitely going for Magnificent Shine since we already have it at level 4. Which is, you know, overall pretty good okay so she is going for shockwave so I'm going to go for courageous blow and then which one is the you know what we'll go for unbeatable um, and then let's try and clash here go for crux sample uh... I don't know if Stab is really going to work in our favor, but we'll certainly try, and then we'll go for a Star Struck. Then I will go for an Overwhelming Luster. Happiness. And another Happiness. Okay, let's see. Um, draw two pages. Uh, draw two more pages. Okay, bit of Protection, a bit more protection, and then we will go Pierce, and the Sword Sharpened, and Sword Tempered. Okay, we do miss the first one, that's okay. Almost everyone blocks the second one, I'm willing to say that's pretty good. Clash doesn't go well. We are now courageous. Okay, big damage. Big damage. Starstruck actually manages to go through. Continuously doing HP damage. Uh, overwhelming luster. Courageous blow does not work out for us. That's okay. Old boy's doing a tiny bit of damage to us. We are going to go for a little bit of healing. Happiness that crushes me. Okay. Go for the stab. Big damage. And finally, the final magnificent shine. And then I'm going to go for Intemperance, right here. And could go for... Du, 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 du. I'm actually going to go for Fiction Run. Could work out. So what I'm trying to do... Um, I'm actually going for the uh, the Hope, or whatever it is. I, I forget what it's called. Uh, we have Love on Amaterasu. We have the Blades Wedded by Teardrops on Sosa. Intemperance on... Lily, and then we're going to put Wrath on Kinsey. By the way, I don't know if 
I show this off enough, but courageous. All dice gain plus two power, and some pages are enhanced. That being said, because we're courageous, I'm gonna go for a big damage, and then we're also just going to go for unbeatable. Now, I'm gonna go for Path of Brilliance right here. It probably won't work out for us, but that's okay. We can't go for facing yourself just yet. So instead, we're gonna go for a Starstruck and a Horizontal Cut. This turn should be enough to totally finish it. I'm gonna go for Arcana Flash, that might work. Then we're gonna go for Arcana Wave, and that's all we can really do right there. Um, let's see, which one recovers light to an ally? Ah, Glimmering Happiness, there we go. Tiny bit of light, can't go wrong with that. Overwhelming Lusta, we're gonna try, then we're gonna go for Ecstatic, and Happiness that crushes Greed to finish it off. Sword Sharpened, it's not gonna work, and then we'll go for a uh, PP. First one fails, second one fails, third one fails. Ouch, even with the plus two power, but I guess we were missing out on a lot of the uh, power ourselves. Okay, we did get the proc, although at a pretty poor time. Arcana Flash. Take some damage, do a ton of percent health. Path of Brilliance does not quite work out for us. Ah! Arcana Wave didn't quite work out for us either. Cut! She's almost down. Counter Dice eh, doing their part. And finally, the Ecstatic Triumph. No, no. I won't give up. Oh, uh, I was kind of expecting a post story, uh, <laughs> but okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Extract another possibility of the original entertainment. This entertainment will be treated as an ent entertainment for the urban disaster rank, Star of the City. It's not in English. Well, all right, we'll skip the story for now then. Okay, so I believe only the story isn't in English, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, it does make me wonder if maybe we should wait on doing this mod. Uh, you know what? I'll be fair. I'll be fair. I wanted to do Ego Eugene, and I was gonna bring Ingvar, um, for obvious reasons. Uh, but because it's not in English yet, I actually think we're going to wait on it. Black Nemo. Why is there so many black silences? <laughs> I know why, but it's still funny to make fun to. Well, not make fun of. I don't want to say it like that. You know what I mean? All right, Black Nemo, 400 health, 350 stagger. Speed dice plus one, gain an additional speed die. Yep. Triple cane suit. Can store up to 40 charges at once. At the start of the act, gain three charge. If charge is not less than 20, all dice gain plus two power. Three fixer. Every 10 charge makes all dice's minimum plus one. All dice's maximum uh, gain plus one when charge is 20 or more. Avocles workshop. Its pages cause uh, cost is fixed. On use, gain three charge, draw two pages. That is solid. Agnar workshop. Its pages cost is fixed. On use, gain four charge, and then bop bop inflict two paralysis. Uh, Shabdlo workshop. If self's light is not full, spend two charge to restore one light until charge is full. On Clash Win, draw one page. Sala Workshop. Start of Clash. All dice on target's page reduce power equal to self charge divided by eight. Okay. Coom Workshop. Gain four charge and restore four light. Psh. If charge is not less than 10, spend 7 charge to deal 15 damage. Ulterior Seigel. Uh, 
Uh, gain three charge. If charge is less than 15, destroy self's next dice. If charge is less than 20, destroy self next dice. Ladden... Uh, Ladnarud. Four to ten. On hit, gain seven charge. On hit, gain seven charge. Uh, uh, I'll... I'll... Atalire. Atalire. On you, seal a speed die of self for the next scene and gain 10 charge. Uh, 8 to 11 slash 7 to 11 block twice on clash win deal 3 stagger. <laughs> Industry. Dice abilities on this page only activate if the opponent has defensive dice. On clash win, spend 8 charge to re-roll this dice maximum of 3 times. 13 to 17. Yeesh. Ah, <sighs> so be it. Then let us see what you're made of. I'm going to go for Wind of the Leaves, and then we don't have light for anything else. But if we land the hit, which we do, we recover two light, and then because of the Eugen passive, passive, we are going to restore an additional two light. Um, I'm going to go for Request. Which I know is a little bit of a weird one. We normally don't do that. But you know what? It should be fine. So now I'm going to go for Shockwave and Will of the Prescript. And this should be rel... I think this should be fine. Good. Okay, block dice doesn't quite work out for us. That's okay. Will of the Prescript, recover a little bit of health, and we're going to draw some pages. I'm, um, yeah, every clash win, we gain a little bit of haste and a little bit of light. Now, the time has come. Be gone! Ow. Ow. Okay, we're almost staggered, but if we can just hold in there for a little bit longer, we should be okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna let that... Yeah, I'm gonna let that roll. Then we're going to go for leaves, and I'm going to go for shockwave, and this should be okay. Alright, unless he immediately staggers us. I actually think we're dead because of that. <laughs> oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, I think we're dead because of that now. Oof. Okay, well... I still think it's a good build, but you need a little bit of protection since it is so light heavy. Although you can definitely see, even with how much the light and stuff costs, we can still make it work. Now I guess we'll die. Unless we live. We didn't live. Time to make him regret killing one of our own. So, you think you can rip me off, huh? Well then, let me show you how a real black executioner silence whisper of the night does it. Ah! Alright, fine. You might have won the first one, but you're not going to win any past that. After all, I feel a pulsation that I've never quite felt before. So, in other words, yeah, I could say that uh, I'm basically kind of a big deal. Uh, now, that being said, uh, I guess we'll go for old boys. That should work out. Also, I'm gonna stop doing the rolling voice now. Ah! Ah, nothing personnel. <laughs> um. Let's see, we could go for lies, why not? Because a lot of our pages don't actually get affected by it. So, it only makes most things cheaper, as you see from a one-cost crystal ulterior. Um, and then... Let's go degraded trail, should be fine. Crystal! Very good. Degraded trail. That block die will be a little bit of a problem for us, unfortunately, but that's okay. 
now we're going to go for Sword of Frost. Um, could go Wrist Cutter, honestly. Wrist Cutter tends to be a relatively good one. Black Charge. So does this not count as regular charge, I wonder? Because if it is just regular charge, then we could actually use it in a certain charge floor if you catch my drift. Let's go for ulterior logic. And then we'll go for Ranga Motion. This should be fine. Bang, bang. We'll recover a bit of health at the start of the next scene. But first. <laughs> God, that's so ridiculous. Okay, re recover a bit of health, a bit of stagger. I'm going to go for Guilt, because it reduces how much damage we're going to be taking from, um, well, stagger. Okay, we're at nine, so we could... Oh, I didn't even realize we had these. Let's see. This page inflict... Actually, so what if we were to just inf... Or, not inflict. Manifest Ego. And then... Let's go for... Furoso. And then we can go for a free old boys. And a free... Durandal. And this should be a really good turn. Ego will show up next scene, but first. Furoso. Regenerator. Ow. Old boys does work out for us. Durandal! Good lord, that's insane. <laughs> um, Leer? Eh, I don't know about that one. We'll go for a kiss. And then we will finish off with, why not, Frost Splinter. Do you feel it? The end times grow near. Now, allow the unstable charge to grow. <laughs> Oh my god. This freaking... I know we're not doing much damage, but it just looks so powerful, doesn't it? At least, at the very least, it does to me. Well, once we gain enough um, unstable charge... Let's see. Max of 20. Uh, da, 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 da. So... Only usable at 50 plus unstable charge. Okay, so we need to climb all the way up to 50, and then we can do a giant finisher. So let's go one of these. Soothing Memory will inflict a little bit of unstable charge. And then uh, this will inflict haze. Spend. Nah, I don't really want to spend. Let's see. Uh, spend. Inflict. Okay, let's inflict. And then, inflict one haze, spend six, and then more haze. Okay, this should work out. Urgh! Soothing memory. Ow. <laughs> God, what an anime fight. Both of them just like, teleporting around like crazy. Now, I think we can actually use... Yeah, we can actually use Furoso, which I'm going to do, and then Overcharge Serum W. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good idea to me. And then we'll go for Hammer Retaliate, and we could do another Soothing Memory. However, I want to get some Unstable Charge rolling. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! I think we're almost there. We are sitting pretty at 35. Unfortunately, I don't think he has enough health. But we can go with Curtain Call. Uh, inflict. Yep. Alright. We're just gonna go for Curtain Call. And then we are going to go for... Durandal, and finish off 
with degraded trail. He's down. <laughs> well, would you like to see what the Black Claw build is? Obviously, we cannot change our pages, so they're basically just what they are. As for passives, we actually can't put on a page of the Black Claw. You can only have the passives from it. So, we have... Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> Incompatible with Mio's prowess. Ah! So, wait, 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 wait. What if... Oh. Oh, wait. So, what if we were to put this passive on Aeon? Would that mean when we manifest Ego, he would turn into the Black Claw? So, Roland would essentially tag team with him huh we wouldn't have the right deck or no when we manifest ego our entire deck basically changes doesn't it this passive upgrade all the at the start of the act huh that is that's an interesting thought i'll have to try that because let's see two five two and then three so Four, seven, twelve. Yeah, so it would take the entire passive list, but if we could put this on Aen and essentially have a Roland Aen tag team, that actually sounds like legit. That sounds really, really fun. Especially for those matches that are going to or matches. Those receptions that are going to last for quite some time. This seems really, really solid. If it works how I'm theorizing it's, it does, which I don't know that. Okay, so I went ahead and tested um, the whole can Aen and Roland sort of swap out tag team kind of deal. And unfortunately it didn't work. So I came up with a little bit of a strategy. And now Angela and Roland are going to be the people who tag team. It kind of makes sense. So, all in all, I went ahead and tested the build. Just, you know, testing how Angela and Roland Tag Team would do. Now, uh, we did have to change her deck to be Roland's deck, which, luckily, um, it does not override the appearance. So, we do still have Angela, who now has a claw outfit, which, I gotta tell you, looks, uh, mwah! <laughs> it looks good. Um... I went to Angels of Runa because I figured I needed a really long reception. That way I could get to Emotion Level 5 guaranteed. Just see how it goes. And, uh, yeah. It went pretty good. We actually managed to beat Angels of Runa. Yeah. So, um, this floor is pretty good. This is the floor that Angels of Runa was built around. Completely OP. At least that's how it seems. So I know it's been a while since I've actually shown off this floor's build. At least I think it has. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just real quick. It'll only be a couple seconds. So here's Aen. Obviously can't change his cards. His passives are pretty simple. Serum K for healing to everyone. Encourage because it's just more healing. And adjust stance because it's a little bit of self-sustain. All three of those go really well with Crime, which restores health to him and an ally with the lowest health and SP of him and the ally with the lowest health. So all in all, it's a pretty good amount of healing just for hitting stuff. As for the uh, Ego page, because we get to choose an Ego page that as long as it's a level one Ego page, we get to choose it for everybody. Um, the one I really like on him is Repetitive pattern blah, 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 blah. it's whenever you win a clash you get a bit of light back um i really like that one and i believe the queen of hatred one that restores health i think those are both really good choices uh you could also go for the 13th toll just for a little bit of extra damage and then sally using a very heavy dodge build as we can see as was suggested to me a few times 
Here are her passives. Enhanced Thought Gear. Obviously, it's pretty good. Your Shield, because it is going to bump up our uh, block dice, because we sort of can't really get past it. We need to have a little bit of block. And Liquefied Flesh to, bleh, to block it up more. <laughs> And then I have found that I actually really like um, small flutters. I forget exactly what it's called. It's the small bird one that gives you evasion power. That, to me, is just really solid. Then we have Vera, whose build really has not changed. She's basically just full-on slash. Like, her passives are all about doing nothing but slash and then of course i really like to use axe on her one to three slash power when all she does is slash and then a little bit of defensive dice it's pretty good the book hunter who i don't really have an ego page preference on at least not yet um although the one i have been finding myself using on her is um i think it's gleaming where whenever she hits someone, if they have higher stagger resist, uh, she absorbs it. It's the Scarecrow one from Cheese. That's the one I find myself using quite a bit on her. And then, of course, we are using Serum K Infusion. So we are recovering four health every scene as long as both her and Aeon is alive. Hypocrisy, because it just seems pretty good. I, technically, we could put on... Equanimity, but eh, I I like hypocrisy a little bit more. And then bonus charge because you can never go wrong with a bit of extra strength. And finally, Angela the Black Claw with the tag teaming Roland. Overall, we can't actually change her deck, but. She has the complete, the complete, complete page of the Black Claw, uh, Serum K, Manifest Ego, Executioner Roland, and then we are using the J Corp Tactical Set so that we don't stagger ourselves that fast. Not to mention, with Serum K, we're also going to be recovering additional health. And then when we manifest our Ego, we turn into Ego Black Claw Roland, which... Overall, it's just a very, very, like, even lore-wise, it just seems super solid. <laughs> and uh, it's also ridiculously powerful. And with the healing we get to ourselves, plus the healing we get from Aeon, plus the passive regen we get from the Book Hunter, this is just solid. This floor is so ridiculously good. And then usually what I do, uh, if I can help it, I tend to go for candy... Sometimes I'll go for Mask, but most of the time I go for Candy. And then I follow that up with Crown of Thorns, because for some reason you can't pick it on the first Ego page. At least in my experience you can't. Uh, Crown of Thorns, just super, super good. Then I always go for Path of Sins, because you can't go wrong with more Light Regen. It's just, it's just solid. Then Forbidden Fruit, and finally... We end with Light of Redemption on the same person who got Crown of Thorns. Because then you get the benefits from both and no downsides. So, yeah. That is the Floor of General Works. <laughs> and it is potentially our strongest floor we have now. Although Hods is a ridiculously close second. Oh, it's getting quiet around here too. Yes, it looks like most of the R-Corp and Thumbs are gone. What do you think of District 12 today? Wait, are their names reversed? I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep with what I got. Is that what the back alley looks like from my subjective point of view? Yes. I don't think there are as many bodies lying around as I had assumed. I agree. The guys who, until recently, had hired the entire association to look on the bright side of things, I didn't think. 
I didn't think that they thought they'd get this far. Me and you are breathing here now. The rest of us are. The library and the blue reverberation gang. Huh. After all, many organizations headed for the library. Some of the wiser ones escaped. But still, I've seen far fewer who didn't go to their deaths. I think what those guys are still after is something in the library. Both the library and the blue reverberations have been appointed to the city's star. The scale of both is beyond imagination. That's why we need to observe it in detail. The Always Dark Office has a reputation as a firm specializing in information gathering. You don't want to lose credibility as a fixer either. I would have hoped you would have been a little more careful in licensing that one. Are you going to complain now, Mr. Haley? Oh boy, my voices are definitely reversed, but oh well. No, I'm not trying to run away, even though this voice is completely unfitting now, but oh well. I'm just sick and tired of being assigned to work in this dark, dingy back alley. I hear you can easily finish jobs that I can't. It's one thing to say I'm good at my job. It's another to say I'm not irritating. Remember the job you and I are tasked with right now? It's an observation of the 12 districts and libraries that are showing disturbing activities. And to report to the HANA Association on developments in each organization and office. You were just told to make the library survey a priority because they finally lost most of the people from District 12. The HANA Association also said that they would visit the library in person once it was vi fully visible enough. That means I don't have a single reason to go to the library. That's... Mm. Yes. Perhaps you're planning to go to the library. Yes. Is that what you're doing? Considering my future, etc.? Of course it is. After I go to the library alone, I'll have trouble reporting it and will lose credibility. You don't seem to have lost your mind. What is the reason? Depending on that, I would have to restrain Miss Haley. You're a girl now? I'm thinking it's just a, uh... I'm thinking it's a translation error. I think Haley is female? I think? <laughs> well, the first one said Mr. This one says Miss. Look at me assuming genders. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's just a translation error. Um, I think Mr. was supposed to be, like, Mrs. And so the second one is Miss. Or Ms. technically. It's simple. I am fishing for knowledge. Show the invitation. This is it. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. If you know about purple tears, you might understand the purpose of the blue reverberations, but... No, I don't, I'm not going to the library because I want a book. If I could get the book it's written in, the reputation of the always dark office would be further enhanced, though. I guess I'm... I want to meet with the pale librarian and talk to him or her. And I want to get my questions answered. Are you heading to the library for that nonsense? You know how scary that place is. You always risk your life for crap, don't you? Anyway, I'm not going to bend my will with your nonsense. And I don't have the option of not following you. If I refuse to go there anyway, they'll probably take me even if they knock me out. Of course not. You're my partner, and you're not going to be able to do much work in the future if you're the only one left. And you won't get any new information if you continue to observe here. Uh, you are always the one forcing things. I'll just report to the office that I'm going to the library. I don't have to wait for a reply, do I? 
Exactly. This is a very strange group of people, Kamenir. You didn't look so good. As you did in your story. Oh. Oh, I see. You didn't look so good. As you did in your story, it was like a shadow. There are many ways to block recognition like that. It's rare, but not impossible. To make it... Ah, it's rare, but not impossible to make it so that you can't see much at all. It's one of the more common techniques. To make your... To make yourself not known. Yeah, because as a fixer, there's not a single good thing about being a fixer. Now, we don't have to worry about some peeps peeking in from somewhere realizing what we look like. I wonder how much these women know. It seems like they've come to me for questions, not for books. If you say you specialize in gathering information, I'm sure you're already aware of everything that's happening around the library. And it looks like you've been looking around for a reasonably long time. The only thing I can say for sure is that he's a pain in the... More than an association fixer. Oh, fixers who operate in small numbers always have a special way to survive. A small number of people is a reason for caution on its own. Like you who came in here alone. Uh, a clear analogy? Thank you very much. Point taken. Isn't it a much classier place than I've heard? I'm not in a good mood, though. I'll curse you if I di if you die from this. When that happens, I'll report your death to the Hanna Society along with you. Welcome, my guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian. Here. Thanks for the polite introduction. I'm Haley, a fixer with the Always Darkness office. I'm still doing features. Okay, so it's it's definitely a translation thing. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Obviously, you make do with what you got. If you don't know English, um, you're going to use something or other to translate. And at least online translation things aren't always the most accurate. So I get it. It's fine. Um, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Plus, it's understandable enough. I am Yo-Yo. A fixer in the darkness office. Angela, can I ask you a question? It's okay. Then I ask, why are you here? If you want to gather knowledge about the city, there are better, blah, there are better places to do it than settling in the former site of the L Company. I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Miss Haley, don't be in too good a mood. It's probably already in the enemy's stomach. Angela, I'm sorry if I offended you, but now that I have confirmation in my mind, I don't have to answer your question. But, well, that was within expectations. And since you're almost human now, let's say that you should be very careful of foreign enemies. Are you trying to give me advice after I asked you so rudely? Actually, you don't seem to see us very well. You are out of focus. I figured if you were going to reach your goal, I should be honest and supportive. I, too, have watched libraries grow for a long time. I hope you're not saying you're here to be bait. That's exactly what I didn't expect. I guess it's time to end the conversation. The curator is getting on my nerves. Please help me find your book. Hmm. Haley and Yo-Yo. Darkness. Haley, at the start of each scene, add a powerful page to hand that costs zero and restores one light. The Black Shadow. When all characters attack against this character, the minimum value of all dice is halved, rounded down to the nearest whole number, but not less than zero. 
While this character becomes untargetable, all dice gain plus three power. Yikes. While alive, when a die... Wait, what? Oh, okay. When a dice is rolled by an enemy and it rolls max value, re-roll it. Activates once per die. In a clash, the opponent's offensive dice lose one power. Yikes. Skilled of Incubation. At the end of each scene, if no damage is taken by the by an attack during the scene, all allies gain two protection, two stagger protection next scene. An unintentional scar. One-sided attack. All dice on this page gain plus two power. On hit, deal two damage. Hit and run. Four to seven. On hit, restore one light. And then dodge. Everlasting darkness. On hit, inflict one fragile. On clash win, inflict three bleed. On clash win, inflict three bleed. And then a counter uh, evasion dice. The Black Shadow. Inflict one paralysis to all enemies this scene. On clash win, inflict paralysis. And inflict paralysis. And then slash. Dark Shield. On use, draw one page. On clash win, inflict one paralysis. Two sided siege. On hit, target's hand. On hit, target one card with the highest cost and send it back into their deck. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what that's trying to say. That sounds insane. Yo yo. Uh, disturbance. When using a page, the opponent's damage dealt by attacks and the amount of stagger damage dealt by counter dice is reduced by one for the duration of this scene. This effect is activated up to twice per act on the same opponent. Cannot be duplicated. In a clash, the opponent's offensive dice lose one power. And skilled of incubation, respiration. At the end of the scene, restore one light if current light is zero. Unintentional Scar, Hit and Run, Everlasting Darkness, Dark Shield, Two-Sided Siege, Shadow Assimilation. If any counter dice from this page remain by the end of the scene, become untargetable for next scene. If this die remains by the end of the scene, add a powerful page to hand that can only be used next scene. Interesting. Shadow Cutting. On hit, increase the cost of target's pages whose original cost is 2 or lower by 1 for the next scene. On hit, inflict 2 bind. Interesting. Hmm, who do we want to bring out? I actually feel like most of our floors have gotten attention in this episode, so I think the only one that hasn't gotten too much attention is actually Hod. Now what I'm going to do... Boom. We're going to bring Sarah, Crimson, Caius, and that should be pretty good. Sheeta and Hod are uh, currently doing book club, so they won't be joining us for this reception. Look, there are people out there breathing down your neck right now, trying to kill you. I can take care of myself. You need to concentrate, too. Well, then... Let us see what can be done. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> Let us see. I will destroy them in the name of Hard. I don't know why they're... <laughs> Void Star. And then I'm just going to go for... Let's see. Are you doing that big counter die? No counter die here. Boom. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, da -na 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 -na. Let's go appetizer. Uh, we're going to take some damage, but... Yeah, we're going to... I don't think we can actually block that. Let's go for additives, because it has a chance. And then we'll go for multi-slash. Let's see, what are you doing? Combat start. Inflict one paralysis to all enemies to see. Yikes. Uh, let's do pre-work. Actually, that, uh... Mm. Prelude to madness. 
and then we could do butchering restore one light if target is bleed restore one more light uh alternatively draw one page you know what we'll do pre-work just to uh start bleeding ourselves that way we can do more damage void star oh that paralysis is really getting us prelude to madness Okay, well. Choo! Sickle of nil. Okay. Um, look of the day on Crimson. Should be good. Okay. Next up, I am going to go. Let's see. Is there going to be counter die on the field? Yes, there is. Uh, da -na 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 -na. you're bleeding, right? Yes, you are bleeding. So we'll go. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Uh, shockwave should be okay to counter that one. Then I'm gonna go for gotcha. That should be pretty good. What are you doing here? I'm gonna try and break that with violent ire. Although our chance of doing that is actually a little bit low counter that and let's see what happens oh wow all right immediately lost both that's okay oh as soon as we get scaling you're going to stand no chance oh it destroys one of our dice interesting so that's what one of their effect does they get rid of a dice i'm not sure which effect that is but it got rid of our um Violent Ire's dice, which is really nasty. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the one we gotta worry about. So, we're actually just going to try and whack him. Let's see, we have six. This will actually give us a lot of power, so let's start trying to get rid of that. And then who's bleeding? Are either of you... Ooh, yes. Let's see, restore one more light... This is draw a page, so we're going to do that. Let's see. I'm going to go for additives. And then flesh carve could be good against that. Let's wait for the unhappy face. Or rather, the super unhappy face. There we go. Ah! Now die! <laughs> Okay, that gets rid of that. Ah. Flesh cough. Are they both about to become untargetable? That would really suck. Um, could technically do glitter. I'm actually. Okay, I want cocoon on Caius. Okay. So neither of them are untargetable, so that's a good thing at least. Morda. Um, let's see, what are you doing? Now die. This will put us at 11. We get strength every 3 and every 5, I think, right? So that's going to be plus 2. Let's see. For every 3, so we're, we're at plus 2 power. We'll go to plus 3. You know what? That's a that's a ton of power. Yeah, I actually think we can win that one. Okay, what are you doing? I'll go for butchering, and then I'm gonna go for butchering again. Okay, that's a lot of bleed that's coming out. I'm gonna go for empty dance, and then empty resolution, sickle of nil. Okay, let's attempt to win this one with the Flesh Carve. And then I'm going to go for Appetizer. This should be okay. Could have been better. Ugh. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now die. Ugh. That's a double stagger for us. Why do we still attack? Ah. 
Oh, right. If we roll max, it re-rolls. Kind of forgot about that one. Um, let's see. Let's re-roll. I want obsession. Give me... Aha, there it is. Sanguine desire. Okay, two of us at the moment are staggered, but I don't think that'll be too big of a deal. I'm gonna go for, um... Which one is it? Wrath? Yeah. Let's get wrathful. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Violent ire should work. Then, empty dance. Let's see. Either of you are doing the big one. You're just doing that. Okay, so I want to... I want to stop a little bit of damage that's going through. Uh, so let's do Hollow Spear, and then I'm also going to do Sickle of Nil. Yeah, this should be okay. We might still lose both of them, but we'll see. Good. Okay. We're starting to win some clashes. Okay, the stagger is over. The time for talk has passed. Now you die. We don't have any of our cards that are going to help us out in this situation. All dice. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? You know what? 50% chance. We take those. Morda. Let's see if it works out for us. Gotcha. Okay, we discard one. Ah, Luster does not work out for us. Neither does Violent Ire. Get a burn, get a dodge. Morda. Well, something's worked out for us. Ow. Sick of the nail. Ugh. Caius is staggered. Okay, that's all right. We can make two. Um, I want alertness, crimson. Uh, could go on, actually, black swan could be insane. Let's do black swan. I rarely use the, uh, black swan stuff. So, what's up? Ah, oh, you're untargetable. Can only be used as seen. Start a class, destroy the first die on your opponent's page. On Clash Win, destroy the opponent's next die. On hit, deal five stagger. Alright then, I'm just gonna kill your buddy then. I'm gonna kill her dead, and you cannot hope to stop me. Yeah. Like a shadow. Ugh. Ah, oh, God, we lost two people. All right. Well, it's up to Crimson now. Can she do it? I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, though, I'm not feeling confident. But we're going to see what happens. Let's wait for unhappy. There we go. All right. Black Swan, bring us a victory. Butcher. The strength, the prelude to madness. Now. I want you to die. <laughs> oh no, we get to finish this off in a very rare way. I'm also going to do Well-Worn Parasol. 
And then we'll take red eyes. Why not? It looks like your time is over. Good lord, that was close. Those were the ones I expected. It's a good thing there's no sign of more guys from the same office coming. I wonder if she really came here just to ask me questions. Well, I'm sure that's one of the reasons. But in reality, it would have been a mixture of many factors. I've seen quite a few exceptions, but still. It's hard to imagine a high-ranking fixer acting on emotion alone. Maybe it was a separate request from the Dana Association, just for that guy. I'm sure you can find that in the book, too, but why did you ask me? Because when we talked, I really didn't feel like I was aiming for the light or the books of this library. It just seemed a little surprising. Whatever the reason for coming, I'm sure you'll get some useful information from their book. That would be useful information. Since it was requested by the Hannah Association, and since you are a fixer for gathering information. When gathering information, the worst thing you can do is go right in recklessly. Information you could have originally brought back would be lost, and it's just too risky to sneak into enemy territory with no guarantee that you'll return alive. They're not amateurs either, so I'm sure they've reported everything that they know, before they came in here. That's a no-no if you ask me. I think at least the office has lost some credibility. You were... You were a one-op office, so you didn't have to worry about your reputation. You're still pulling that stuff! Woo! Alrighty, I believe that is going to do it for this episode of The Library of Ruina. That got freaking close. That was a ridiculously close um, final fight. Luckily, we did manage to pull it back, but man, that if you roll max, re-roll, and the paralysis and the offensive dice lose one power, good lord, it's hard attacking something you cannot properly see. But we managed to pull it through, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of The Library of Ruina. I did update <laughs> one more build. Um, uh, Marcos, your outfit. I don't know why your outfit keeps breaking. Okay. So, we gave Azazel the Black Silence. It's a little bit of a weirder layout. I'm kind of... I'm thinking maybe we'll change it, maybe we won't. Not sure yet. Um, we'll also have to give him his cosmetic back. But, we are using the Zena's Black Silence, and our passives are quite simple. Skills of a Gambler, the Gotcha Sword. On hit, inflict one to two burn, bleed, erosion, fairy, or paralysis. It's only one of those, and it's one to two of whichever one it picks. And then random holler. On a successful attack, recover 1 to 3 HP or Stagger Resist. And then, of course, we have Health Hauler and Mind Hauler just to go with it. So, very, very high sustain. And then Unstable Charge for that little bit of extra gambling. Can't go wrong with RNG, except when you do. So, that's going to do it for this episode of Library of Runa. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Jeez, we did so many black silence things in this episode. I uh, <laughs> that wasn't my plan, but it just kind of worked out that way. So, <laughs> you know that that's fine. Bye.